Hey Creative Crowd, how are you doing? Today we're gonna create these fun monsters in Affinity Designer. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Because this is a longer project, I will start off by showing you some basic techniques and then switch over into time lapse. If you want to see the full length video in real time, you can do so as one of my patrons. Okay, let's get started. So let's hide these guys real quick. And I want to show you some techniques that I used uh, to create this. For example, this tear shape tool that you can find here over here on the left where you have these kind of basic shapes. When you select this, you get these red dots here and you can move this around. You can see the upper one moves the kind of pointy edge and then you can bend the middle part and then you can also move this up and down. And I use this to create hair. So you can see here, um, for example, let's, let's make a second shape here. Uh, like the other one I created like this and now if I turn this upside down and make it maybe a little bit smaller I can put this in here and create something that looks like a simple hair and you can click up here on the flip horizontal to put it to the other side and move that around create some more hair of course you can always um, rotate this to give the hair a little bit more variation. So that is a basic trick to get, that you can use. Another thing, another basic trick that you can use that is super easy and very, very useful is um, use the ellipse tool, drag out an ellipse. I will switch this over to white. And now when I right click, I can convert this to curves. And when it's converted to curves, my tool usually switches automatically to the node tool. If not, you can find it up here and you can pull this side down and you can see this will already be in a curve like um, a node. So pull this down and pull the other one down and you have basically created a mouth and you can even give the mouth a little bit of expression by uh, putting these into different positions um, where you want to have them. So you can use this really effectively uh, to create a mouth. Uh, let's, for example, sample the same pink. This is, is another trick. I sample the same pink and then I just make it a bit darker so the colors are closer together. And then, for example, I could use another shape, uh, set it to white. And I can then snap this onto my curve and now it's hidden because the curve, the mouth curve is uh, acting as a mask basically. And you could, for example, put a tooth in here. Okay. So these are some of the basic tricks to create these monsters really fast. And now we're going to switch over to time lapse where you can see me use these um, tricks. And when you want to see the full length video, maybe become one of my patrons. Okay. See you. Bye.